Hello, my name is Phyllis Davis, and I'm the president of Portable Farms Limited. I'm also the co-inventor of Portable Farms Aquaponics Systems. We have a very special treat for you today. I'd like to introduce you to the fish that we use in Portable Farms Aquaponics Systems that create the nutrient stream that provide all these beautiful, green, fresh, organic vegetables. The fish that we use in Portable Farms Aquaponics Systems are a very special breed of tilapia. They're a cross between a Mozambique female and a Hunera male tilapia. And when they breed, the cross that they breed are a California hybrid tilapia, which are all male. And these fish are a result of the fact that when these fish breed, the females die at birth. Not the moms, but the baby fish. So it's an all-male breed. So the fish that we use in our systems are an all-male hybrid California tilapia. And in seven to nine months, we harvest them after they've been placed in our systems. When they're a pound and a quarter, they're 11 inches long. That harvest size creates two four-ounce fillets, which feeds two people. They're high in protein and low in fat. Tilapia fish are a freshwater, warm water fish, which means that we heat our tanks to an 78 to 80 degrees year round and we insulate the tanks to keep the fish uh, at that median temperature, which keeps them happy. We do our best not to stress our fish, so we insulate the tanks. We feed them at the same time every day. We feed them all the food that they can eat in 15 seconds and no more, a couple of times a day unless they're babies, and then we feed them a little more often until they're about three inches long. We love our fish. We talk to our fish. <laughs> when our fish frenzy when we feed them, in other words, when I raise the lid to the tank and I put in the fish food that we feed them, they'll frenzy. In fact, they'll frenzy when they hear me coming toward the farm because they recognize my footsteps. So I'm the same person who feeds them all the time, and we have a relationship. So they're glad to see me. They come to the edge of the tank, they frenzy, they boil in the water, they're very excited to see me. And now I feed them all they can eat in 15 seconds. So we don't leave any remaining food in the fish tank. The fish are clown-like. Tilapia are a happy fish. And when the fish are fr frenzy when I feed them, it means they're happy. And when they're happy, they eat. And when they eat, they poop. And when they poop, I have beautiful, fresh, green vegetables in my portable farm. So the fact that they frenzy is always an indicator for me whether or not they're happy or not. If they're not, then I need to look and see why. Our fish are very healthy. We've never had a problem with ichthyosis, which is very common in aquarium, saltwater aquariums. We have really healthy fish, and, and they're, uh, we harvest them and enjoy them in barbecues for our friends, and we freeze them. and. We, um, we have a, a lot of varieties of ways that we cook them. In fact, I wrote a cookbook about tilapia called 10 Tantalizing Tilapia Recipes to Titillate Your Taste Buds. <laughs> and we make tacos in ceviche, we broil, we steam, we bake, we make tacos. We enjoy uh, tilapia in a lot of different recipes. They taste very mild, so they taste like whatever you cook them with. So let me show you the fish tank where the fish are. Now they've already had breakfast this morning. It's early in the morning here in Southern California. But I'll show you what the tank looks like. Ready? Okay. This is an insulated fish tank. And it has daylight, as you can see. So they have sun um, all the, the hours that the sun is available for us. And then uh, it's an insulated tank. So it keeps the fish warm all the time, even in Southern California. Um, it gets cool at night, and in the 60s, even in August. So we have insulation on the inside of the fish tank, which keeps the heat in. And I wish you could put your hand here, you'd feel that the water is very warm. Um, it's, a, again, 78 to 80 degrees. The bubbles you see in the tank, we keep on 24 hours a day. And Coley Davis, the inventor of Portable Farms, will introduce the technology to you in just a few minutes. This is a food grade food stock tank um, that we buy at, at feed and grain stores that are available all over the world. It's a 300 gallon tank and has 300 tilapia about three inches long that have been in here for a couple of months. Again, we wait seven to nine months before we harvest our tilapia. 
on the right over here is a smaller tank I'll close this lid is a smaller tank of 150 tilapia and um, it's a 150 gallon tank see here's some of their breakfast that's still less because I just fed them a few minutes ago so they weren't very hungry this morning so I won't feed them anymore so the water you can see the bubbles 150 fish and again it'll take seven to nine months you also might be interested to know that tilapia come in all colors salmon and gray even in an albino color that's a beautiful white tilapia but the flavor is the same in all the fish so we're very excited to be able to use tilapia in Southern California because they're only quote legal in the six southern counties of Southern California the six female Mozambique and one Hunera male produce 30,000 babies a year which is a prolific breeding so the fish and game in California doesn't like us to uh, have them outside of the six southern counties in California Los Angeles, Orange County, San Diego County, Imperial Riverside, San Bernardino counties. North of Los Angeles, they're considered illegal, and Fish and Game is very stringent on this. In fact, tilapia are illegal in many places throughout the world, especially the United States, because we have a, um, a shortage of water. So that's what we know about tilapia. I'm so glad you could join us today to learn a little bit about, more about Portable Farms aquaponic systems and the fish that we use in our fish tanks. Thank you for joining us.